Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, if you are here. I decided to make a video today about leveling up from the ratchet realm. I'm going to call it the ratchet realm because it is a whole nother world. Hey, and I'm not downing anyone. I'm just keeping it 100. Y'all know I love y'all. And I, if I didn't care, I wouldn't try to help. So we are going to be talking about, yeah, I don't have my wig on today. I just put it up in the bun and just kept it moving. Tried to do a little makeup. Okay, so we are speaking about trying to transition out of the ratchet realm into the leveled up realm. A lot of people have no clue and I'm just going to be, I'm going to try to say this the nicest way I can. But the only way to kind of get it across is to be very blunt. So a lot of people don't know that they're ratchet. Okay, that's number one. Let's talk about this. A lot of people have no clue that they are even ratchet. So they don't even think that there is a problem. Okay, so let's start there. And I'm going to name a few things that will make you ratchet. I'm, not, I'm going to say this. Everyone has a ratchet characteristic, not just ratchet people. But all people have ratchet ways. But I'm going to speak on the stereotypical ratchet that is being duplicated across the country and across the globe, probably. I don't know. Okay. So... Face tattoos, neck tattoos are ratchet. I'm sorry if you already have them. Um, I have a tattoo right here, as y'all all know, but I can cover it up as small if I really needed to. Like say I had to wear an evening gown or something. I could cover that up. I can cover it up in an interview. You know, it's not all running up my face. Okay. So, be careful with those tattoos because you might want to level up later on in life. Thank you. You're just taking notes, reading your book. I love you. Oh, thank you so much, Conscious and Imagination, for the donation. Appreciate that. Number, I'm not even going to go in order, or I'm not even going to number these because there's too many. So, um, your environment and where you live also determine what style is cute in style or, you know, popular. Okay. So I noticed that when a lot of ladies from different areas and different States, you know, send me photos, um, and things like that, I can tell where certain people live by what they think is cute. And yeah. <laughs> so Thank you, Amarius, XX Amarius. Thank you for the donation. Mm -hmm. Certain hair colors on certain hair colors are deemed ratchet. Okay. So we can't have those like ladies walking around with, let's say, green hair talking about that they are leveled up. OK, if you walking around with green hair or any color in the crayon box besides black, brown, uh, and it also depends on your uh, skin tone, you know, because a, a blonde wig can look ratchet on dark skin. So we have to kind of keep that in mind when we choose what our hair looks like. And don't think if you shine a light and take a selfie and it look good and you have eight filters on that, that look, that's how it looks in the real world because it's not. OK, so if you look good in a selfie with a blonde wig, it don't mean that's what you look like on outside in the daylight. OK. <laughs> Thank you. Kylie Jenner is doing it. OK, so if you look like Kylie Jenner and you are a billionaire, you can be ratchet all you want. OK, if you are a billionaire and you look like Kylie Jenner, you can do anything you want, okay? If you are not any of those things, 
then you do not compare yourself to them or her. Okay. Number one. <laughs> um, Uggs. Someone's talking about Uggs. Shira, I went on a date. Okay, we're talking about. We're, I'm gonna stay on the subject. Okay, no, no questions till later. Um, nails. Let's talk about nails. And thank you, Strawberry Doll, a Strawberry Lowly. Thank you from Tokyo. Oh, thank you. Let's talk about nails. Okay. Now, I know that there are all these Instagrammers with all these fancy nails and jewels on it. And I've said this a million times. And I know some people still don't care. They still don't do it. They still think they're leveled up. You may be having everything working for you. You may be leveled up to a point. But as soon as a, you know, potential sugar daddy or somebody who's really high up sees those ratchet nails, they automatically put you in a category of ratchet in the back of their mind. Okay. Um, because it doesn't matter how nice they are to you, what they buy for you, their mentality, the way that they were raised and their values are very different and when they see certain things on certain people, they automatically put them in a category of ratchet. Yeah, they will sleep with you. Yeah, they will take you shopping. Yeah, they will do A, B, C, and D. Would they give you their last name, the deed, and put you on that insurance policy? Probably not. Okay. Now, for those of you who think that I'm saying, that I'm speaking about average men, I'm not speaking of average men that you can walk and bump into in the street. I'm talking about people with means, with money, to where you don't have to work anymore, to where you can do whatever you, pretty much you want, okay? Because I think a lot of women get on here and think I'm speaking on average men or average goals. I'm not, okay? So that's one thing you guys have to understand. A lot of ladies are actually too young mentally to even level up. They may be in their 40s, but mentally they're still in their teens and 20s. So they cannot have the mentality. You have a ratchet mentality. So you will not be able to level up mentally. Okay. Thank you. So that is another thing. The mentality you may say, well, I'm, and I saw this in the group, one of my groups yesterday, and I was, I was a little bit upset, but that's okay because we're going to correct it. Someone posted that they leveled up and they look this way and they don't think they should have to deal with old, old rich men. They think they should find someone rich, young, and handsome. Okay. For me, of course, that is the dream. That is the fairy tale. But do you look like the princess in that fairy tale? Do you speak like the princess in that fairy tale? Do you act like the princess in that fairy tale? If the answer is no, then you're not going to get the prince charming in that fairy tale. Okay? Because most of the time, the answer is no. You don't look like the princess in the Disney movie. And neither will the man that will end up taking care of you and living happily ever after. Will he look like Prince Charming? Okay, so y'all need to get back onto earth into this reality. Okay, just because someone's old and unattractive does not mean that they're going to take care of you because you don't fit into their world. That's what they're trying to tell you. And you get frustrated because you can't get the results because you have it leveled up mentality wise, you know, you're still ratchet in your mentality. You're still looking for a quick payoff when you're not even 100% leveled up to the, to the point where a handsome young man will even want to even think about taking care of you. And believe me, you won't be the only one they're taking care of or the last one they take care of. OK, so y'all get that out of your head. I, you know, I, I also feel like ratchet is also a 
lifestyle. Okay. It can stem from, you know, um, growing up in poverty, growing up in certain areas, you know, growing up here, growing up there, but it is a known saying that dress for the life that you want. Okay. So if you want a ratchet life, continue to dress, look, walk, talk, ratchet. Okay. Don't, please don't say Cardi B. Please don't say Cardi B because her life is still ratchet, but just has money with it. Okay. Um, I love Cardi B. She's, she's very entertaining, but look at her life. <laughs> okay. She's very entertaining and I like her a lot. She makes me laugh. And her life is still ratchet because she is still ratchet. She might just have ratchet, more ratchet, expensive things. That's it. Okay. You can be ratchet and have on a, a million dollars worth of jewelry, um, designer clothes and still be ratchet. Okay. So it doesn't matter how much money you have. You know, uh, it doesn't matter how beautiful you look. If your mentality is ratchet, if your thinking is ratchet, and your style is ratchet, then you, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, whoever you are, are still ratchet. Period. You will react as a ratchet when something happens. You will react as a ratchet reacts. Easy. Okay. If you are mentally leveled up, you will act strategically to get what you want. So I know a lot of ladies who may look beautiful makeup perfect, you know, nails done, you know, um, smile, a sweet voice. But as soon as you say something that they don't like, or as soon as someone does something that they don't like, that ratchet will emerge and they will start either a fighting or the ratchet, you know, talk will come right on out or they will go back to what they know because this is not benefiting them yet. So what you got to do is learn the mentality on patience, strategy, and the long-term game. Okay. Um, and that no ugly, wrinkly, old, old man is going to give you anything if he can go out and get someone better looking than you. Um, with a better attitude, who thinks a little bit different, okay? Get that out your mind. Just because you're young doesn't mean a thing. They may use you up for a couple of dates. They may take you somewhere that they never go. And they may try to sleep with you, but that does not mean that they want you next to them or in their world. I have a lot of ladies who are writing me saying, I can get men to take me shopping. I can get this, but I can't get them to commit or pay long-term bills or, you know, make me their girlfriend. It's because you look like something to pass around. Okay. Thank you. So there's another form of ratchet and I'll call it stripper ratchet. And there's nothing against strippers. If that's your job, go strip. But when you come out the strip club, put on some clothes and look leveled up so that you can get a man who wants you for other reasons. Okay. So we have strippers that come straight out of the strip club. That's that look like they, they have not left work. Okay. So if you're walking around the real world outside of the strip club, looking like you should be in the strip club and you expect someone to want to wife you or make you their main girlfriend and take you in public and not just want to sleep with you when whenever, you know, then you have to change how you look. That's it. Okay. They just got to change how they look. And they cannot come out with the stripper makeup on either. Okay. Because you can tell. Or the stripper wigs, put them up. Okay, I know Beyonce has a long wig for her concert. She is an entertainer. People have to see her from long distances in the the uh, the arena. 
okay? She is an entertainer. But I had to say it like Medea. You are not Beyonce. She can take that wig right off and go right to her kids backstage, get her check and go. You still looking for somebody to, you know, to take care of you. So, and not that you can't take care of yourself. That's not the point. And I know a lot of men get mad and say, well, why don't you take care of yourself? That's not the point. Anybody can take care of themselves. If y'all haven't, if the men haven't figured it out, well, y'all just behind. Thank you, passion style. Appreciate it. Love those emojis. Thank you for the donation. So it's not like, a, a, I, it's not like I can't take care of myself. That's easy. I do that in my sleep. It's that I, if a woman wants a man to take care of her, then she needs to meet certain qualifications for a masculine man to want to take care of her. Not to be forced, not to be manipulated, but to want to take care of her. There's a difference. So if you want to take care of your lady, it's because you don't want her looking anywhere else. You don't want her to want for anything. And you respect her because she respects you. Right? But if your woman is walking around in the middle of the daytime looking like a stripper with no clothes on and you're at work working hard, you know, it's less likely you're going to keep that type of woman as a man. It's less likely she's going to stay faithful. Now, I'm not saying a nice leveled up woman won't cheat on you, but you'll suspect the other one to cheat on you even more and faster. And it's going to be on your mind. So, you know, what are you really paying for? More stripper clothes to go walk around in so she can find your upgrade? I mean, that's what you're going to be thinking, right? So that's why men do not wife or main chick women. And I'm not talking about strippers. I'm talking about women who walk around looking like strippers outside of the strip club. Okay. Because there are strippers that you can't even tell are strippers because they don't dress like it or act like it until they go to work, business, that's it, okay? But if you're taking your business outside of the job, then no one will want to wife you. They may buy you some shoes, but that's about it, okay? They may give you a few dollars, but that's not what you want. You want to be taken seriously, but you don't look like you want to be taken seriously. So... Okay. I'm not saying to stop wearing weave. Please put your weaves and wigs on because some of y'all out here looking like boys. Okay. <laughs> Don't think I'm trying to tell y'all to take them wig. I'm not Meek Mill. You know, he might miss his cellmate or whatever. I don't know, but you know, I put the wigs back on. Do something, you know. I'm not I'm not telling you to take off the weed, believe me, because mine will be right back on in a couple of days or tomorrow or tonight. Who knows? <laughs> um someone says it looks unrealistic. I don't think weave or wigs look unrealistic. I think if someone took the time to look at you to even think it looks unrealistic, it's probably more time than you've been looked at without anything on your head. You know what I'm saying? Because people, if a man is looking at a row of women, his eyes going to stop with the long, with the weave and the makeup. His eyes going to bypass the boy looking women. Okay. And, and I'm not being mean. I'm just being honest. It is true. And because I look on, Face, I mean, not Facebook, but YouTube um, thumbnail pictures of videos. The videos that get clicked on the most are the women who have hair and makeup. The ones that have the least views are women with natural hair, no hair, and no makeup because people think they look like boys and they don't want to click on it. No offense, but it's just the truth. Go look at yourself. Okay. We have to be real with ourselves. We can't keep lying to ourselves and think it's stuff going to improve. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, beautiful looking women look like boys when they don't do anything with themselves 
as well. I'm not saying, you know, because I have I have seen a lot of ladies who came in my group looking like boys and now look like beautiful ladies. Okay. So there is no difference. Uh-huh. <laughs> Um, my thing is, right, some people, they have to gradually, like if you're ratchet, some people have to gradually level up. They can't level up overnight because it is a whole life change. It is an entire lifestyle change. You know, if you're ratchet, your Tupperware cannot be, no, I'm just joking. We're not even talking about Tupperware. If you're ratchet, you know, everything is different. The food you buy, the clothes you buy, where you shop, all that will have to change. All of it. No more walking to the corner store if you live in an area with a corner store. Okay? N none of that. <laughs> and that's because it's ratchet. Grammar, yeah, you got to learn proper grammar. You can't say minds anymore. You got to take the S off. Got to throw that S away. You can't say I had did this. You got to take the hat out. Throw that hat away. Okay. I had did this. Goodbye hat. Okay. You're going to have to change the way you speak. You're going to have to be taken seriously. People don't take other people seriously that have incorrect speak, speaking ways. Even if you're doing it because you don't know better or if you think it sounds cute. It don't, it don't sound cute. Like right now, I would never go out and want to be taken seriously if I and, and say it don't do this. It don't do that. I'm I'm yes. I'm speaking with you guys like this because it's um, it's well known that when someone wants to be silly or when someone wants to really uh, drive a point home with, um, you know, with people that they, you know, kind of come down to earth back to, um, you know, being who they really are. You can talk like that at home with your friends or whatever. But when you're out in public and you're trying to get a man to uh, buy you this and, you know, take you out and take you seriously, you can't be walking around talking about, I had had this legit, da -da -da -da. you can't do that because they're going to be embarrassed, okay, that someone is watching them consort with you. So you have to go and practice and your act on how to speak properly. If you if you just don't like speaking properly, if you say, well, I'm not fake. Well, you're going to be, you know, that's fine. You can be fake and work and have a dusty. I mean, you can be real. You can go to work and come home to your dusty if you even have a dusty. You know, but you keep it real. And it's it, the funny thing is having proper speech has nothing to do with being real or fake. How do you join the Level Up group? Um, thank you, um, Smiley Hazel. Just write me. Go to my About section, click email, and then my email. Just write me only for business purposes. Do not tell me no life story. I don't care. If you want to level up, let me know. It is a paid group. Do not write me life stories. <laughs> okay. You could, if you want to purchase a consultation, which I'm booked, so wait till next week. That's fine. But I still don't want your life story. The, the, I just need the problem so we can solve it. Okay. <laughs> um, England people tell you sound like from the country. Uh huh. Cool. Thank you for just buying my book. Appreciate that, girl. Mm, keep it real broke. <laughs> so, do I have any New Year's resolutions? Um, yeah, to get back into the gym, lose this little holiday weight. I need a few pounds during the holidays. I'll probably tell, but 
it'll, it'll fall right off because I'm back on my uh, regimen. Oh, and to have more money. <laughs> increase my money, uh, increase my income. But that's good, right? Um, also to help more women. To help more women get out of working nine to five, to help more women get better partners, to help more women uh, realize their worth. That's my resolution every year. OK, because that's what is going to help the world. OK, and by the time more women start realizing their value, everything's just going to improve. Okay. Um, do you have a group for women who want to leave their nine to five? No, it's called a level up group. The whole point of leveling up is to meet a potential man who is going to be a provider male. Okay. We're not leveling up for broke men. That's a waste of time. Level up for yourself, of course. But if you love yourself, you're not going for average. Right? If you love yourself, you're not going for average. And I'm not talking about looks. I'm talking about money. If you love yourself, you're not going to aim for the average man. Okay, why? Why take all the time, go to Sephora? Why take all the time to go get your nails done? Why take all the time to do your makeup, learn how to do makeup? Why take all that time if you're just going to go get another broke Dusty? You, could, you, you don't have to do none of that to get a Dusty. You could put on a bonnet and get a Dusty. So... Why would you spend all your precious time, all your money, not all your money, but buy expensive uh, beauty products to go get another broke dusty? That makes zero sense. It's your self-esteem that is telling you that on, you only deserve a dusty. So if you're going to level, if you're going to put MAC makeup on your face, if you're going to put Anastasia on your face to go stand in a, uh, a ghetto broke bar, Next to Tyrone the Dusty, who you got to buy his drinks for. What are you doing? What are you doing with your life? Okay. So, no. If you dress up, if you do all of the above that I just said, I don't feel like repeating it. You, and you um, represent yourself at the highest caliber and you're beautiful and everyone is saying, Oh, your husband or your boyfriend is so lucky and he doesn't see it and he doesn't, you know, pay your bills and he doesn't make sure that you're happy. And he doesn't make sure that, you know, you're not going to upgrade on him because he's not taking care of you. Then what are you doing? Okay. <laughs> so I need to divorce my husband. No, and here's for, here's for the people that just found my channel and has have already married a Dusty. That's what you thought about yourself already. Okay, I'm just putting the mirror up. Can you describe the level up versus pre-level up group? How do you decide which group to be in? Um, if you look like you're starting from scratch, you got to go to the pre-level up. If you have makeup, wigs, clothes, and you're ready to jump in and start going, then you get into the level up. OK, if you don't know how to put on makeup at all, pre-level up. OK, if you if you look like a boy, pre-level up. If you don't have makeup, pre-level up. If you don't have wigs, weave, whatever, pre-level up. OK. If you, you know. OK. If you are more than 50 pounds overweight, pre-level up. And I don't have anything against overweight. Believe me, I've been 50 pounds overweight plus. But in order to really um, accomplish the goals in the level up group, you're going to have to, you know, be on a nutrition plan to at least look healthy. OK, you can be plus size, you can be plus size, but you can't be obese in the level up group. There's a difference. So 
the pre-level up group, that is for ladies to work on themselves in order, you know, fitness wise, makeup wise, hair wise, mentality wise, before they can get to the level up group, because it's too fast paced for anyone starting from scratch. Okay. Um, thankful. So thankful for you in the group. My sponsor, your sponsored Lagos trip was a success. I received so many compliments from men and women while there. I have three heavy pocket potential sugar daddies courting me now. Wow. Thank you for the nice, generous donation. Thank you, Simply Vocals. See, that's what I'm talking about. You go, girl. Get your money, girl. Get your money, tea. And La Peaches is down 30 pounds. You go, girl. Okay. See, men with money like healthier looking women. I'm not going to say skinny. I'm not going to say, um, I'm going to say thinner, healthier looking women that, you know, are not going to, you don't see obese ladies on the red carpet with, you know, movie stars. It's just not something that people associate wealth with. Okay. Thank you for teaching Shira. Oh, thank you so much, Pandora, LaCora. I like the name. And like I said, I have a place for everybody so that we can get to where we want to go. It's just you can't be put, you can't be put in the same group as someone who like is getting a free trip. Okay. And you steal a treadmill with braids. Okay. You're gonna be a little, you're gonna be a little bit discouraged and mad. So we gotta start you at a point where we can uh, make sure that you're, you don't get overly discouraged with watching other women do certain things. Okay. So, and we do, we do what little graduations to the next group after you reach those goals. So pre-level up, that doesn't mean you're going to stay there. It just means you got a little work to do and then you get to level up. That's it. Um, mm -hmm. thank you. She would love you. I'm going to be buying your book today. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Buy my book, y'all. It's a guide. It can, you can, you can trans, I mean, you can, um, access it from your phone. If you have Kindle app or Amazon book app or PDF, whatever you go take it with you on dates and like, run to the restroom or check your phone and see if you're doing stuff right. Um, it's not a long book. I don't tell my life story in it because I hate when books do that. Thank you, Anonymous Fashion. How do you, how do you convert your hubby to a giver? Convert yourself into a beautiful woman that will upgrade on him if he don't become a giver. Thank you, Anonymous Fashion. You have to change yourself. Men don't change. Women change men. Men change for women if the woman changes. So if you if you don't do anything to change, they don't think you deserve anything. You, they married you like that. That's what you thought you deserved. That's what you got. Now, if you level up and start looking cute, wearing that makeup, that hair, those nails, you know, hanging out in nicer places, wanting a better life, then they may step up or they may let you go and find the man that you you deserve. Okay, so you can't come in there looking just like average and want him to be above average. Y'all average, y'all got married average, y'all stay average, or you level up. And if he doesn't level up, then you move on. Okay. Shira, what do men of means really want in a woman's want in a woman the qualities and personalities? They want them to be beautiful. And they want them not to be so boring that they feel like they're sitting next to a zombie. That's basically it. Fun and beautiful. Being able to speak on the topics that they want to speak about, but not correcting them in any way, not challenging them in any way, but just being able to go back and forth in a conversation. Okay. Even if you're smarter than them, it doesn't matter. Hold it back. Save it for the face, uh, Facebook debates or the YouTube uh, comment debates. Okay. 
They just want to shine in front of you. That's it. Okay. And let's keep talking about ratchets. Okay. So when I give my advice, it's going to be hard for a ratchet woman to take my advice because she can't go to the rich area of town and fit in and not look like a sore thumb. Okay. She has to totally revamp her look, her walk, her talk, her wardrobe to even be able to feel comfortable going on the wealthier side of town. Okay. Cause she's going to stick out like a sore thumb. So, in order to even be able to take half the advice that I give you, ladies, you're going to have to, you know, be um, more versatile as far as how you speak, how you look, what you're comfortable with, how you form your sentences. OK. And in a in um, manners, you know, don't. Oh, this is a pet peeve of mine. I want to shoot people that do this, but it's illegal. Walking around the store or anywhere. Yeah, girl. Mm -hmm. I had told him that he better have my, uh, you know, um, I hate that. If you do that, you ratchet. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Please stop today if you do that. That means you're a ratchet. Another thing that I hate, and that needs to stop is walking out of your house. And I know I'm real big on this. Looking like you rolled out your bed. I don't care where you're going. Unless you go into the trash can right in front of your house, do not leave your house looking like that. If you step in your car, do not leave your house looking like you rolled out the bed. Thank you, Ches no, uh, Jones. I'm in level up group, but took a social media break to super level up. Don't delete. I, thank you for the donation, Chiz Jones. You need uh, right. Um, we haven't been deleting, but you know, just post that in the group. But thank you, girl. Have fun on your vacation. Okay, thank you, Defe. Thank you for being in the group too. Thank you, Defe, for that donation. I, pro I appreciate you. So, okay. Bonita. Okay, so here's another thing. But mostly in rich area. What? Women wear revealing clothes. No. Not unless you live in Hollywood or Las Vegas or something like that, you know. <laughs> um, I don't give prices on here because they're always changing. So yeah, find me on Facebook. Uh, <laughs> How can a woman get treated right in terms of respect by a new man? Respect yourself even more. Set your own standards. Treat yourself how you want him to treat you. Okay, for example, if you want to only be taken to nice places, then suggest nice places. When he suggests something else, I don't eat that. I don't do that. Okay? Don't try to compromise with something less than your worth. Okay? Always tell them what you expect in a nice way. So where do you want to go on the date? Oh, well, I heard um, this place was nice. Let's go there. Oh, you sure you don't want to go to Applebee's? I am 100% sure I do not want to go to Applebee's. I have never been to Applebee's and I don't ever plan on going to Applebee's. Put them in their place. If they can't afford to take you to wherever you need to be going, you just save time, energy, and effort and gotten rid of them. Okay? You don't compromise with crap. You don't. You like Applebee's, well, then you are ratchet. <laughs> Cheers. That food, the service. Every time I drive by Applebee's, there is no cars in that parking lot. 
I don't even know how they're staying in business. Probably because they're feeding you homunculus meat. Y'all know what that is, but look it up. Um, if you eat at Applebee's, you don't love yourself, baby. The posh MUA. Hey, girl, $20. Thank you, girl. My big sister love you. Um, the, the food is dumpster juice. Thank you for the donation, girl. Tish. <laughs> that's, that's my husband called me Tish. Um, I'm sorry. Anybody who works at Applebee's, who loves Applebee's, Applebee's, I'm sorry. It's free advertisement for y'all, Applebee's. Two for 20. Um, to the ratchets and the dusties. But, um, I see, I just, I just, I, cl I called them. I gave them free promotion. Okay, but I'm saying, me, I'm allergic to Applebee's. I have a medical condition. So I have to say that I can't eat there when someone asks me. Um, <laughs> I'm allergic to brokenness. Okay. Unless you're in a high school, I don't even, shoot, I wouldn't even eat there in high school. Thank you, Lily, for the donation. You have helped me and another friend level up. She where you change lives. Thank you. Y'all change your own lives. I just be pointing the stuff out, but I appreciate it. <laughs> okay. You don't love yourself if you eat at McDonald's either. That's true. Mm -hmm. Unless you're going for the ice cream <laughs> or the drink. Don't stop me. <laughs> okay I worked at an Applebee's it's not clean Ooh, tell them girl tell them Applebee's is not clean. okay let's get off of Applebee's mm. do you order in Shira or you cook your food Shira I do both but mostly I order <laughs> yesterday I cooked chicken chili but that's going to be part of my low carb lunch for the rest of the week that I meal prepped. Um, mm -hmm. I made gumbo on New Year's. But yeah, most of the time, if I'm too busy or if the kids are in school, and I don't have time to cook. We'll order something, but we're not ordering from like nasty places. We're ordering from like real restaurants, you know, speedy food to go, grub hub, where they can actually go to a real restaurant and bring the food. Or I'll just take them out to eat after school. To like hibachi, you know. Ashira, do a first reaction on the song Tamar Orange. I don't even like Tamar. I mean, I don't like her music. She's cool. I don't like her music. Um, thank you. So another thing about Ratchet. Okay. Hanging around other Ratchets if you're trying to level up. If you're trying to level up, you can't you can't force other ratchet people to level up. If they want to, fine, great. Bring them along. But you can't force other ratchet people who like being ratchet. Mhm. Mm um Okay. Yeah, because then they'll just think you're ratchet if you still hang around ratchets. You can't even introduce them to people if that that you're trying to level up from. And I know a lot of people are saying, "Oh, that's just fake." It's not fake. It's that the people that are most influential in your life will determine your life in five years. So if your best friend is ratchet and your cousin is ratchet and your, um, you know, the people that you work with are ratchet, those people are going to define your life for the next five years. OK, your life is going to be ratchet for the next five years and however long you stay around ratchet people. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. mm. 
how do you deal with a man who is not a gentleman but serious about a relationship? How to deal with his toughness? Go get another man, baby. And when he decides to come to his uh, right mind, if he still got some money left or if he still has enough money for you, then give him, you know, give him the time of day. But until then, get you another man that is a gentleman. OK, if you only got one choice, then that's no choice. <laughs> Level up include female hygiene, too. OK, well, Eagle Atlantis, why don't you make a video on it? And go make a video right now. And yeah, you 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 teach that hygiene class. And make it, <laughs> teach it. Thank you, classy women. And if you and if your family is ratchet, what do you do? <laughs> if your family ratchet. Well, you can't really change your family, but chances are if you level up, they will want to level up too. And everyone knows that. Most people, if they are a certain age, come from a family that may be a little ratchet. And at least you can warn them ahead of time. That's the best I can do. Well, I gotta give you a warning. My family is a little ratchet. That's it. Give them a breakdown of every family member. Now pick Misha over here is A, B, C, and D. Such and such over here is A, B, C, and D. So that they won't, you know, if you're going to introduce people to your ratchet family, that they won't be surprised. You've already given them the brief and they know that they're not getting, getting ready to meet the Cosby's. Okay. <laughs> Maybe so, show them some video first so they don't be scared. Okay. <laughs> Maybe introduce them one at a time in one in a in, uh, public place. <laughs> where that they have where the ratchet person will try to be acting proper, will try to act proper because they're out of their environment. <laughs> um, how did I join pre-level up? Write me in my about section, click on the email, and only it's a paid group. So yes. If you pay one time and you're in. Um, the price varies um, because it always changes each year. So don't get prices out on videos because the videos will be around for a long time. Uh, so another thing. Those people that wear the lashes that come out to here. That's ratchet. Just so you know. And, the, and when you can see it peeling off. And it's halfway off and it's all the way down here. And, all, and, and the lash, you stuck the lash actually right here instead of on the aisle. That's ratchet. Silver lipstick is ratchet. Mm -hmm. Foundation with no powder is ratchet. Um, <laughs> I've seen it. Two different eyebrows, even though it is very hard to get these things to match or even look like cousins, but two totally different eyebrows is ratchet. Uh, eyebrows drawn with one line is ratchet. Eyebrows this thick is ratchet. Eyebrows that look like seagulls flying in the wind, that's ratchet. Um... I said foundation without powder is ratchet. Why? I will show you some examples, but I don't want to get sued. Because if you are, okay. Because if you're orange, if you're brown and your foundation is orange and your foundation oxidizes because you haven't put, put powder on it, you will walk around and also it starts to drip. It starts to look melted and it starts to seep into your pores. And so, and it oxidizes you. You're going to be looking orange with pores. Okay. If you do not put the powder on. And it will wear off. 
And I know if you don't have on powder, you don't have on a fixing spray, a, you know, a sealing spray. I know you ain't got that on because you don't, if you didn't even put powder on. So you're, you could, if you, and you probably bought the cheap eyeliner and you, it's probably going to be all down here. And you're going to look like you have bags with orange skin and pores. So it starts with the powder after the foundation. Put that powder on. It could be translucent. I don't care. But, and then get you some fixing spray. That way, how does your makeup last all day? Mine melts off because you ain't, you don't have the right tools. R a ratchet makeup kit in includes mascara, the wrong color foundation, and a shiny wine colored lipstick in a clear gloss. And a black eye, uh, eyeliner from the Dollar Tree. That is a ratchet makeup kit. That doesn't count as makeup. Okay. So if that's what you have, you ratchet. You need to go to any decent YouTuber who teaches makeup tutorials. You need to see what they have in their makeup kit. And you need to go step by step if you are really trying to level up. Okay? Don't just guess what they did in the, in the 90s. Oh, I remember I used to go, you know, I remember I used to have this, this. Now, your junior high school makeup kit is not your grown woman makeup kit. Okay? Sephora is your best friend. Ulta is your second best friend. And if those are closed, Walgreens and CVS, those are your standby friends. The ones you call when your other friends is already out or sick. Okay. Um, <laughs> yes. Oh, somebody said Mac. Okay. Y'all still got Mac on, on the... Y'all still got Mac as y'all friend? Go roll with Mac. <laughs> okay. How do you make men pay for your makeup? Put some makeup on first. And don't tell them it's for makeup. Tell them it's for something else that makes it sound like they rescued you from a big problem. See, that's the problem with most ladies. You don't, you know, you don't know how to get stuff. Don't you don't have to tell them what crap is for. You don't have to tell them what the money is for. Make it up, you know? Hi, can I have some money for makeup? No. Hi, I need a new tire on my car. It's about this much money. Then take that money and go buy your makeup. Okay. <laughs> I like long calm too. So there are some good transfer proof foundations. There's one by Lancome, Estee Lauder, and then I think CoverGirl now. So a lot of people worry about makeup coming off of their clothes. If you set it with powder fixing spray and you have a makeup that doesn't transfer, you're good. Y'all buying them, y'all buying the old school. Uh, no, y'all are using the old school techniques of makeup and wondering why your makeup doesn't stay on. There is, There are new techniques, new formulas, and hundreds of thousands, if not millions of makeup artists and makeup gurus on YouTube that will go step by step with you like a kindergartner and help you put that makeup on your face. Okay. Uh, I need to be watching more actually, because you know I need to change up a little bit for the new year, but I'm just being serious. If you smoke weed and drink, a 40, you are ratchet. Thank you, Eagle Atlantis. You are correct. If you, now I know, I'm, I know a bunch of people finna get mad at me, but I don't even care. If you are a female and you are a woman and you do not have glaucoma and you smoke weed, you ratchet. I'm so sorry. Now, every once in a while and a blue moon at a party, I understand. But if you have to wake and bake on the daily and your hands are burnt and your lips are black or brown and you smell like weed and your weave smell like weed, you are a ratchetta. Okay. If you show up on dates high, you ratchet. I'm, I probably just lost 18,000 subscribers, but that's okay though. 
They was ratchets. Um, or cigarettes. Yeah, cigarettes are a bad habit. If you smoke, smoke in private. Don't let people know you smoke. Go hide and smoke. <laughs> like, I'm serious. If you know you ain't going to stop smoking weed or smoking cigarettes anytime soon, go hide and do that stuff. Take your wig off while you smoke. I mean, I, I don't really care what you do. I'm just saying don't let it be known and seen and smelt that you are ratchet. OK, I just I don't even, I don't even think it's classy for a lady to smoke weed every day unless she has glaucoma and is prescribed by her doctor and she can't see. OK. Or arthritis, chronic arthritis. <laughs> OK. <sighs> Any natural makeup brands that I recommend? None that's highly pigmented that's going to do the job. Bare minerals, I don't even think that's natural anymore. <laughs> none. None that's good. Someone says Bobby Brown. I think they mean like an all natural ingredients. You said hourglass. I think I have hourglass makeup somewhere. Somebody said Maybelline. It don't matter if it look good on your face. It doesn't matter. <laughs> the best natural makeup is, uh, I don't know. I don't really, I, I, I look at colors. I look at how they look. I don't really care if it's natural. If you're allergic to stuff, then I understand. But I'm not allergic, so I don't care. <laughs> I'm Someone says box braids are ratchet. Okay. Now, this is where this is where the um, the thin line is when people talk about hair. Is, is this is ratchet? This one. When I say when I talk about hair, I'm not going to put it in a ratchet category unless it's green. It smells like marijuana. Unless it's green, it's, unless <laughs> I want to put certain hairstyles in a category such as bills bills being paid versus you paying your own bills okay um 50 50 versus totally provided for and i've had many women do the experiment who have gone from braids and dreads to you know wigs or weaves they have gotten a hundred percent better treatment. Uh, men have gone out of their way to give and provide for them because of the changing of the hair. And I'm just being a hundred percent honest. I don't care if you uh, have natural hair. I got natural hair, but I will still stick a weave on top of it. I, will, I mean, a wig on top of it when I go out because I know the difference. And I don't want to have to worry about it. Okay. Um, you get more head turns from wealthier men with certain hair and certain looks and certain haircuts and certain lengths. Okay. That's just obvious. I wouldn't, you know what? I wouldn't waste my time putting makeup on my face. And I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I wouldn't waste my time picking out an outfit because that'd take a long time. Putting all this makeup on my face, getting my jewelry to coordinate, getting my nails done to go out with braids. Everything you did was in vain. So <laughs> I, don't, I know people will disagree. I know people are not going to agree with this video. But I'm just here to give you the information. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm not going to do all that to go out with braids on. Okay. Um, they make braid wigs now. I, I would not waste money on a braid wig. So. Because I know I'm not going to be any 
uh, like if I was single, I, I would already know I'm not going to be meet anybody worth my while. While. I will not meet. No one will approach me worth my while. Okay. So if I go, Blair Beasy, are you a 100% male provider? Are you paying bills, buying cars? He said he liked braids. You see, braids bring the dusties. Sorry, Blair, if you're not a dusty. <laughs> or if you're not a man or a woman, I don't know. These names and I can't even see that profile picture. I'm so sorry. Um, blonde or brunette, which one gets more money from a man? Well, if you're a, uh, if you're white, blonde, or if you go dark, like a Kardashian, but if you're African, African American or brown skinned, um, probably the darker color hair. If you're like medium tan skin, you could probably just get some highlights. You can be bl blonde and brown at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> so what about braids for a tropical vacation unless that tropical va vacation is being paid for I mean I still wouldn't wear braids on a tropical vacation um, I would find me a nice tropical looking wig and get you some <laughs> I sure would I mean, if a man pays for you to go out on a vacation and he met you with some with some nice hair uh, flowing in the air conditioner, you know, and then all of a sudden now he's taking you on vacation because he wanted to flaunt you. Now you got some uh, box braids or braids in your hair. It's not going to be the same thing. OK. <laughs> You can't get in the water with, are you really going to get in the water? <laughs> like, seriously, you going to go swim with the sharks? Um, you could get, shoot. Y'all, y'all don't see all those movies in Hollywood where people are wearing wigs in the water. There are ways for you to, to do it. Combs, bobby pins, glue, waterproof glue. Spirit gum. You know. Y'all know that y'all know that one chick that speaks in that like Haitian Creole accent. I forgot her name. And she's always making those videos. Well, she made a video going to a water park, going down a water slide, in the water slide with full weave and makeup on. It's full wig and makeup on. And came out fine because there's waterproof makeup, waterproof glue, waterproof Jessie Wu. Yeah, that's her name. There's bobby pins are a dollar for like a hundred. Come on now. <laughs> she is funny though. So stop using tropical vacations because I know a lot of people, oh, I just got back from vacation, but you ain't going nowhere. Okay. I, I feel like if that's what you want to do, do it. That's fine. Um, but you would get way more attention, potential money spent on you, wealthier class of men looking at you if you did what I'm telling you to do. Okay. Now, it may, it may hurt right now, but it will pay off later. I promise you. I promise you. Ask any girl who was mad in the beginning and did what I said and now are not working no more. <laughs> okay. <sighs> you smoking your PJs on your patio before I get dressed with a scarf on and wash my brush my teeth with. Okay. Mhm. Mm well, as long as y'all keep it in the, it, like I, like I said keep if you if you if you smoke Smoke weed, smoke cigarettes. As long as it's a secret and nobody knows but you, great. <laughs> if they can't smell it or detect it, great. You got away with it. 
Um, but I'm not I'm not even condoning doing it. All I'm saying is if I don't if no one knows, then it doesn't matter. <laughs> long or short hair? Long. What what's somebody what what a man gonna do with some short hair? Um eating wing eat, eating 20 wings on a date is ratchet. Eat two and stop eating. Eagle Atlantis says eating chicken wings on a date is ratchet. Eating chicken wings, period, on a date is ratchet. <laughs> Get the bone out chicken tenders and dip them. If you have, if you eat chicken tenders on a date, which you shouldn't be, unless it's like stadium food and you're, you know, he took you to a concert. <laughs> okay. Chicken wings are 80 calories each. Wow, I didn't even know that. Good to know. Thanks. Okay. Wearing a bonnet or a scarf outside is right. Well, yeah, we already know that. That's that's a given. I saw I saw someone out with a bonnet the other day, you know. Sasha's like, Mom, look, it's a bonnet. <laughs> Thank you, Paris K. Armani. Just look. Just took your braids out. SD is taking is talking marriage now. Never going back. Thanks for the level up advice. What? You took your braids out and now your sugar daddy is talking marriage. That's what I'm talking about. Because he can now he can take you seriously. That you can fit into his lifestyle is what I'm saying. You know? What electric cigarette is best? Girl, I don't know. Ask them. People that smoke. <laughs> um, nobody needs to know any, anything about you. Exactly. Don't put all your eggs in one bonnet. <laughs> Eat wings after y'all been together for 10 years. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Um, I had a great day at a fancy steakhouse and the other day the food and drinks were amazing. Thanks for the advice, Shira. Oh, thank you, Essence. I'm glad y'all had a good time. Mm. It definitely works. After finding your videos, I started ma making my husband pay all the bills and he's used to it now, and he's not much older than me, but I'm too in love to go for a richer older man. Well, as long as he's paying all the bills, and you can work with it, and you happy, then that is an accomplishment, okay? Because that means you can keep all your money and save all your money. Thank you, Deanna Joel. I'm moving in. You moving again? Are you nervous? Oh, well, good luck on that. Don't be nervous. Just... Think about all the great opportunities that are getting ready to happen to you. And all the new guys that you're getting ready to get their money, girl. <laughs> so, Shira, what's best in your opinion? Buy a new luxury car or used one? Whichever one you can afford and still be able to pay your rent, eat food, and... um. Well, here's my thing with luxury cars. I, I'm a smart per I'm a smart businesswoman, and I like to do things in the correct order and the right priority. If you are living in an apartment that you don't like, upgrade your living space first. Okay, I would rather have a nicer apartment or a nicer home than a nicer car. So if you have a nicer home and you have the nice car, I mean, the nice environment and then in a good environment, then go, go for, I say go for the, uh, the new luxury car if someone else is buying it for you and paying the note for you. But if you're doing this on your own, and you don't have anybody paying for you, then go buy the used one. 
Okay, because no one's going to know. And you're paying for it for yourself, so who cares? Okay. I still look natural with a kilo of makeup on. How come? Because you're not using the correct colors, techniques, or your, I don't know if you have brushes. I think maybe you need to use darker colors. Maybe you need to use eyeliner and false lashes and contour and go find a YouTube video and copy them. Okay. Because most people think that putting on a ton of foundation and powder and lipstick and mascara is a kilo of makeup. If you don't have contour, highlight, um, concealer, if you have not drawn in your eyebrows, if you don't have liner on, lashes, if you don't have a, a defined crease or multiple colors, more than three colors on your eyelid, you didn't do your makeup. Okay, you played in some makeup for two seconds to run to the mailbox. Um, <laughs> that is true. You got to put it on. You got to get those colors right. I, anyone that disagrees, if you still working, case closed. Okay, and and I love you. But I gotta I gotta close the case on this one. If you still working, case closed. Angel cat, I leveled up in two years. I met a millionaire. I have holidays, no money. Yeah, I'm thinking, what am I missing? I need to go to the next level up into the. <sighs> okay, you gotta become what they need instead of what they want for a few holidays. Okay. And yeah, anybody, I mean, anybody who's leveled up and cute can meet a millionaire and maybe sleep with one and go on a vacation with one. We call them vacations. I know over there across the pond, you guys call it holidays. Um, but it's the same thing, vacation. So that's because they just want you for a brief moment in time. If you do not fit into their world, if they cannot see you with them permanently, they're not going to take you seriously. You got you have to study them to know what if, if you're around their friends, look at their friends, wives, look at their friends, girlfriends that are long term. Look at their lifestyle. How do they dress? Do they dress conservative? Do they dress a certain way? You know, do they speak a certain way? Do they act a certain way? Are they this? Or are they that? You got to mirror them to get into their world. Okay. If, you know, if they're, they dress like a, he dresses like a farm boy. Okay. And so what do you dress like? You dress like a, a call girl. Or do you dress like, so if it's a farm boy, then shoot, go on Pinterest and look sexy farm girl outfits, baby. Sexy farm girl outfits. Get you some, well, I don't know, in, uh, over here in the West, we got cowgirl boots. Get you some. Let me get on my Pinterest right now. But um, but being ratchet, it doesn't matter if wherever you're from. I've seen um I've seen a lot of people with ratchet makeup, ratchet clothing from all walks of life. You know. Um so you don't want to just stay ratchet because you'll die ratchet. You got to change. Life should be a, a constant improvement of self. Right? It's even, even for men. You know, you don't want to be uh, dusty all your life. No. Nope. A man doesn't want to be dusty when he dies. 
Okay. James looks like just looks like a dusty, but his, his pockets ain't like a dusty baby. Okay. Tyrone may look like the sickest thing, you know, on the polo uh at or on uh, uh, hip hop magazine, but his pockets is probably not like James's pockets. Uh, and I don't know, like Dusty's, they were every name brand, every fake gold chain they can find, every fake diamond earring they can find. Men with real money don't show off because they don't want to get robbed by your Dusty baby. Pumping gas, they don't want to lose their life or their wallet. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you I got a donation hold on let me go see Say thank you girl thank you Tori Williams I appreciate you I want to know how to be a ratchet how to not be ratchet as a rapper any tips on how to move forward in that industry um, well, we have a lot of ratchet female rappers right now. So probably going the opposite direction is going to be very helpful and different. If I were trying to break into any type of industry, I would do the exact opposite of what's popular because everyone's always looking for the next thing, not what's already hot, but what's going to be hot. See what I'm saying? So don't try to be everyone else. Be something totally different. Okay. Whether you got to be like, this is what I would do. I mean, I mean, if I was a rapper, I would, I would take it back. I would do retro style. I would take it to the retro. I would either take it to a, a period of time that is really retro. And that would be my style. Like I could do, uh, Prince girl group, 80s retro, and, and have some lingerie. I could do um, pinup look from the six, from the 50s and 60s. Uh-huh. Be full. <laughs> I could do, uh, let's see what else I could do. You can even go all the way back. And, and and take it to ancient Egypt and be Queen Nefertiti. Okay, remember the time, baby. Mm hmm I'm going to look up retro style. Yeah. Go to Pinterest and look up retro, look up 80s, 80, sexy 80 style. Always put in sexy because that's going to give you the, the sexiest looks you can get um, in that era. Because y'all know that sells. Anyway. But you can't come out doing the same thing. You got to change it up. It, they're always looking for the next thing. Not what's already there, but the next thing. Thank you. Uh, good luck. When you get famous, you know, remember, remember me. Um, your target sugar daddy wants you to meet his mom and his 24 year old daughter since leveling up. Should I? Um, no, 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 no. Rapunzel length hair is a no-no. Um, wait a little bit longer until you have a ring to meet the family. That way, it's too late to reject you, baby. Get that engagement. Or get a promise ring or get some diamonds first. So if the family thumbs you down, you, you leave it with some diamonds. Ah. Get you some rings. <laughs> Get you some jewelry. Why? Let me tell you why. Get get a nice, it doesn't have to be a ring. It could be an expensive whatever. Okay, get but get you some diamonds and some platinum and gold. Why? Let me tell you why. Because if a mother and a daughter sees that 
a man has heavily invested into you jewelry wise, they will treat you a little bit different. Why? Because they think he takes you more seriously. If you ain't got no diamonds, no rings from him, you just, you know, the flavor of the month. But if he's giving you jewels, he takes you seriously and then they will take you seriously. And then you will take the relationship seriously and you will feel more comfortable. Don't go in there looking ratchet either. Wear, wear, your, wear your shirt up to here. Wear your proper nice earrings and jewelry that he bought you. And when they compliment you on your nice jewelry, oh, thank you so much. Edward had such great taste, doesn't he? There you go. Okay. Get some jewelry first. <laughs> I'm not meeting nobody's mama, nobody's cousins and sisters until I'm heavily invested into. Like they don't get to meet me. I'm shoot. <laughs> That's not a compliment. Because some people will introduce you to their family to just so that they uh, can get sex from you faster, thinking you're special. Now I need some I need some uh, tangible assets to think I'm special. His mom might be his mom might have met twenty girls already. You don't. Oh, thank you so much. Can you change Dusty behavior? Yes, change your behavior and the Dusty's behavior will either change or he will leave. Okay, change your behavior. That is the best way to change someone is to change yourself first. If you no longer entertain certain things, they cannot offer you them. If you no longer allow a man to stay in your house without paying bills, he cannot stay there. Get you some standards. You know, you got to give him your new standards. My new and the new year is a perfect time. My new year's resolution is to no longer allow you to stay with me or date me if you can't pay for everything. That's my new year's resolution. What's yours? That's it. I My new year's resolution is to love myself and know my value. And I think... um. I deserve to be with a man who is a provider. Cheers to the new year. Being with a provider male. Yes, that is that should be all y'all's new year's resolutions. Um, what if the woman in his surroundings are pretty simple or basic when it comes to makeup and clothing? Then then you do it just two levels above them. If you're, if he's like in a uh, social circle where the women don't look like painted up women, as, as some people call them, tone it down a little bit, but always look better than the other ones. You know, don't, maybe don't wear the red. Maybe wear a, a cute pink lip. Maybe don't do the cat eye. Just do a little bit and maybe just some lashes. Maybe don't draw the eyebrow in a super villain arch. But maybe just fill in the brow. Maybe don't do the heavy contour, but just do some bronzer and a little highlight. But do something. You know what I'm saying? Always look two levels better than any woman that he hangs around. At least two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that way you can always tone it down but you'll still look better than all of them okay <laughs> um so here's another thing let's say you're on a date you're trying to level up you're ratchet and you have no idea what to talk about. You know, you're used to talking about things that are ratchet. 
And now you need to find some new subject matter. What do you talk about on dates? Current events. Watch the news. You know, they got Huffington Post that pops up on your phone. <laughs> um, don't talk about celebrities unless they bring it up and then slightly, lightly touch on them. No politics. And yeah, it's like, oh, well, I don't really discuss politics, but I love to hear other people's, you know, if they want to talk about it. But no politics, no religion, no spirituality. That is one thing that is a no-no and off limits on dates. Um, talk about current events, maybe places that you want to travel or have traveled. Let him talk about his career and his accomplishments. You don't talk about yours. You don't talk about your hardships. You don't talk about your brokenness. You don't talk about your ex-baby daddy. You don't even talk about your kids. If you have kids, you don't even tell them you have kids. Okay. Um, you don't show them any photos in your phone. If you have a cracked phone, you don't show him your phone at all. You need to get that fixed. Okay. Crack phones are ratchet. I'm sorry. They a little bit ratchet. They even make phone cases now with the covers on them. In case you can't afford to fix your cracked phone just yet. Get you one of them cover cases until your phone is fixed. Hide that. I am so sorry. I, I've had a cracked phone never more than a, a couple of days. I ran to the Sprint store. I didn't ran. I was there waiting before they opened. I need my or to, you know fix my stuff or upgrade and treat you different. Let him get to know you. Let him fall for you. Let him start to like you without thinking. Oh, well, I wonder how many kids she have. I wonder how many baby daddies. She, I wonder if she still sleeps with that baby daddy. Well, I ain't paying for no kids. Well, she never gonna be able to do nothing anyway because she got kids. Um, well, she'd probably be easy to sleep with if she have kids. I don't feel like being nobody's stepdaddy, so I'm just going to hit it and quit it. That's why you don't tell people you have kids, until they get to know you before they judge you. Okay? Just like you don't tell people, you know, that you got five baby mamas. <laughs> but thank you for the donation. I'm not saying you particularly have five baby mamas, but men in general. Most men don't talk about their children on dates. In fact... Most men don't talk about their wives on dates. <laughs> okay. You see what I'm you see what I'm saying? So this is an old old one for my old phone, but here's a cute little cover. It's all ratchet now. But this is from wish.com. Isn't it cute? If you have a, it's super old, and this phone doesn't even fit in it because it's a different, whole different phone. But look, look how cute that is. You can go from ratchet to classy and just a little while. Don't do the crack phone. That is super de duper ratchet. Get this and hide it. There you go. See, some people you can afford this, if, but some people can't afford to fix their phone just yet. But you can afford a case. Okay. Um. How does a man feel about a woman that has been married before? Uh, if she don't talk about it, it won't be on his mind. I would, you know what? I would just totally lie. I would say I was engaged, and that ain't no lie. Because if you was married, you was engaged at one point. How you doing? Thank you, Ayala Marbury. What do you think about eyelash extensions? Um, I think they're fine. I can't get them personally because I'm allergic to the tint that they use on them, but. If you can get them, get them. Um, what does James talk about? Current events, technology. Um, old stories from his past. <laughs> All you got to do is talk, ask him what he used to do when he, oh, did you play, uh, tell me about the time um, you, were, you used to play sports. And then he'll be talking for two hours. The same story. 
Just let them talk. That's all they want to do is impress you and, and relive their past and their youth and feel young again. <laughs> or talk about the current events like they have the solution to all the problems in the world. That's good for me. Whatever. Where's my money? Tea. <laughs> I'll listen to your solutions. I'll listen to your old basketball story. I'll listen to what you think about A, B, C, and D. I'll comment on it and laugh every once in a while. That's all I got to do. I'll tell you it's a good idea. Oh, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. And I bet it would work, too. You know, you're so smart. Why aren't you running for city council or whatever? Even though I don't really need it. He like it. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Thoughts on Dita Von Teese makeup? No contour, no eyeshadow. If you have Dita Von Teese's, if you have Dita Von Teese's bone structure, then you don't need contour. Okay. If you have the bone structure, if you have her bone structure, okay. Because there's some ladies that have such beautiful bone structure. They don't need too much contour because if they did extra contour, it would look um, hollow. You know, if you already got all of this working, you don't need it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Why do men like red? Because it grabs their attention. It, it makes their heart rate uh, go faster. Did your husband give you money or you take it yourself from him and how? Um, I just get his credit card, but I ask him for it. Give me your credit card. Give me your bank card. I need, some, I need your card. I need your card. <laughs> Go will up on his chest. Baby, I need your car. I gotta order something online real quick. Baby, I need your car. We gotta order something to eat. That's all you gotta do. Just look. Smell good when you go up there. Look good. Lean in. That's how you do it. He ain't gonna say no. Especially if you don't give it to him all the time. Because he think he finna get some if you give him that card. Or give you that card. You have sex all the time with your husband or your boyfriend, and you ask them for something, the answer always gonna be no. Until you start saying no. Okay? Ratchets give it up all the time when they're in a relationship. That's one other ratchet thing. To have sex every time a man wants it is ratchet. Okay? That's ratchet. <laughs> so. If a man wants to sleep with you and you sleep with them every time, that's ratchet. Advice for teens. Do not wear leggings if with a crop top if you don't have a perfect body. Um, do not wear leggings if they are see-through. Somebody said advice for teens. <laughs> um Have fun. Don't try to grow up too fast. Enjoy your teens. Fall in love. Okay? While you're young, when it, money don't count. <laughs> okay? Go fall in love. Have puppy love. Hold hands. Walk through the ball. Kiss. Go to prom. Go to homecoming. Do all that good stuff while money does not count. Okay? <laughs> don't get pregnant. Exactly. Strap it up. Get some free birth control somewhere. I don't know. Do not get pregnant. Do not try to get married to your teen high school boyfriend unless his parents own some type of giant corporation <laughs> or, you know, car dealership. Unless they're millionaires, don't you be trying to get married. Okay? That's my best advice for teenagers. Clean your room, do your homework. <laughs> 
Um, also, don't sell yourself cheap. When I say sell yourself, I don't mean like literally sell yourself. Don't give in to someone just because they think that they can get you. Like say a popular guy in high school can mostly have any girl and you know you're not. Oh, thank you, classy woman. How to become more less comp less confident, less emotional. Okay, I'll touch on that. Um, if you're in high school and you know the guy's only talking to me because he wants to sleep with you, don't sleep with him. Tell him maybe. Lead him on. Make him act like a fool over you in front of the high school and you get more popular. Okay? Be like, yeah, maybe tonight. Maybe tonight. You know, We'll see. He's going to be holding hands with you all day in the hall, following you around like a little puppy. Then don't give it up. Then say, okay, you know what? Tomorrow, because my mom came home. Or because my mom came home and I couldn't sneak out the house. You know, just lie. It's the same way I'm telling women to do, just lie. It's the same thing with a sugar daddy. They they gonna spend money, they're gonna take you out, they're gonna flaunt you around, they're gonna buy you stuff, and you always gonna promise them something that they'll never have. By the time he follows you around like a puppy for a couple of weeks, you'll be able to choose the man you want up in that high school. Especially if he's popular. Be like, no, I don't think this is gonna work out. Next. <laughs> okay. So how to be more confident emotionally. Thank you for that um, donation, classy women. How to be more confident, less emotional. It's a decision. It is a mental choice. Okay. You have to make the decision in your brain. I am not going to react emotionally. I'm going to act strategically to get the best result of the situation. Now, if I act a fool because someone didn't call me back, they probably will never call me back. Right? If I wait for them to come to their senses and call me back, I'm going to be a little bit upset. But I'm going to let them make it up to me with some money or some gifts or something. And I still get what I want. They paid for it. They will never do it again because they know it's going to cost. Okay. And if they do it again, you're still going to benefit from it. Stop reacting and start strategizing. Think before you act. Think before your mouth opens. That's my best advice on how to control emotions. Think before your mouth opens. Think before you react. Think of the long term. Think how you can make this profitable to you before you react. Okay. <sighs> you love your pick me's. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Millionaire, this millionaire showed up to my door. I didn't open the door. He will have to come serious about his intentions. He is a womanizer. Okay. I'm sure he'll be back if you didn't open the door. Mm -hmm. Should I gradually level up on a sugar daddy or just switch and be more feminine? Well, as you heard in the comments, I don't know if you've been here the whole time, this girl took out her braids and now her sugar daddy's talking marriage. So she leveled up on her sugar daddy and he now he's taking her more seriously. Thank you, M.G. Zamundio. Zamundio. What to do if a man is acting like the prize? How do you get your power back? Become the prize yourself. If he looks better than you, go back to the mirror and, st and keep going. Start over. Get a new look. Look better than him. Um, Happy New Year. Thank you. Um, Cuckoo Chanel. Cuckoo. Happy New Year, Queen. Thank you for all that you do for women around the globe. Prosperity for you and your family. Thank you. I appreciate that. Prosperity to you too, cuckoo. I love that name, cuckoo Chanel. Like you crazy. <laughs> um, I can pay all your bill, sugar daddy, fifty five brown. Come on brown. Come on brown. I love that part in the James Brown movie when he was in um he was in prison or jail and he was washing his face. And he said, Come on brown. <laughs> 
Um, but thank you. I, I my bills are already paid, but you can you can donate below. I appreciate it. Um, what is with the skull in the wall? It's a skull on a wall. It's called a wall decal. You can order them on Amazon.com. I'm going to use the baby voice on my boyfriend. Good. See what happens. Um, Shira, can you give clear definition on pick me a lot of different definitions? Anyone that does too much to keep a man and the man ain't doing nothing to keep her. That's a pick me. My husband of 15 years wants a baby. I'm not working or paying bills. We have two kids, 15, 20, I'm like a teen with money all the time and love. What? I, hold on one second. Thank you, Deanna Joel, again, girl. Thank you. Um, I would, I would not have, well, this is totally up to you. Do you want another child? If the answer is no, then don't have one. It's that simple. Okay. It's your body. Unless, you know what? Make a deal. Make a big old deal. Because this is what it's all about, making deals. If he want a child and you don't want a child, the price could be right. So, you know, I'll have another child for you, my darling husband. If you invest this much money into me, give me this much money for my savings, for my business that I start, for just to have, I will have your child, your third child. Make a deal. He wants something for nothing. That ain't going to work out for me. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I would like a new top of the line SUV luxury edition vehicle war full warranty. So I'm gonna have your baby. Okay, get you to get you your dream car before you get your before he gets his third child. Get your dream car. There you go. If he can't buy you your dream car, y'all don't need to be having no more kids anyway. Okay. <laughs> okay salt and pepper the baby voice really works i got a guy paid for my gas after i used it really wow make him give you a push present like papoose did for remy Ma. <laughs> Right, where's your new Lamborghini truck? Where's your where's your Benz? Where's your Lexus? Mm -hmm. Where's your Cadillac? Where that's at? Until he can produce that, you can't produce another child. Mm -hmm. Let him buy you some prom, prom property. You, that too. You already have a nice car. How about some land? <laughs> okay hey Shira it's my birthday happy birthday the lion and the goddess TV this is probably the happy wrong channel to you. Shira just said happy birthday to y'all <laughs> cause I said hey happy birthday <laughs> look watch hey happy birthday wait maybe it was your name that sounded like Siri Hey, the lion and the goddess TV. Hey, Shira, it's your birthday. This is, hey, happy birthday. Okay, it didn't work again. <laughs> I was trying to make it repeat. But Siri says happy birthday too. <laughs> um, I leveled up and lost 20 pounds and still need 30 more to go. Good. You know, that's easy. After the first 20, 30 ain't nothing, girl. Do it. How do you convince your significant other to let you travel alone? 
make sure it's somewhere he don't want to go and you taking your old granny, your old mama, your old ugly cousin with you. And then you lie and say where you're going and don't really go there. Go where you want to go. Tell him you're going somewhere blah and go somewhere fun. Tell him you got on the wrong plane. No, no, you can't do that anymore. Darn airport security. Tell him you missed your plane. You had a layover. You missed your plane. You had to get a hotel for the night. This is how you got to pull it off. You got to lie. Get a, get a trip with a connecting flight. Miss the flight. Have to stay somewhere overnight. Make the best. I'm just making the best of the situation, baby. Well, I'm having so much fun here. You know, they, the hotel gave me a free night. So I guess I just need to stay. You got to be strategic in this game. So find you a boring destination. Oh, I'm just going to go to Idaho for, or I'm just going to go to, sorry, people that live in Idaho. I'm going here and there, you know, just because um, I got to take grandma or my cousin. She wanted me to go with her to get some, do something. I don't know. Help her with her kids. Miss the plane. She gets stuck in traffic, misses the first plane, says she's going to meet us there. <laughs> so we get on a plane, but we miss the connecting flight. Then we spend a few days wherever we was going to try to really be in the first place. But your cousin tells you that never mind, she's good. She don't need your help no more. There you go. <laughs> um, she would help me with how to get cash from husband and save. I just told you how to get it. Get the credit card. Go to the ATM yourself. Get the, get the cash out yourself. Tell him, oh, baby, I want to cook you some special new recipe that I've been um, really wanting to try. I think you're going to love it. I want to make a candlelight dinner for you. I'm going to put on my sexy lingerie tonight. But I need your card and I need to go to the grocery store. So I need your card. Please let me go get you um, this recipe. Let me make you this recipe. I just need to run to the grocery store. Come on, baby. It's supposed to be an aphrodisiac. But you can't sleep with him all the time. That way he get excited for it. Get that card. Boop. Oh, baby, what's the... I know you got his PIN number. If you don't, baby, what's the PIN number? Because I'm always... They always ask for it. Get your money out when you come back. Mm-hmm. Salt water, flesh, what? Okay, y'all talking about nutrition and stuff. Okay, um, that's how you get it. Mm -hmm. Then come back from the grocery store with like some stuff for dessert. <laughs> that way you ain't got to cook. Some strawberry shortcake stuff. Some whipped cream. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes. It's just whipped cream and spray and some strawberries. <laughs> I saw it on Food Network. There you go. He gonna think he's gonna have a feast. <laughs> gotcha. And get some ice cream and throw it on there for extra. Crumble up some Hershey's chocolate bar on it. Call it gourmet. Do you have your cash? If you go to the grocery store, it looks like you bought, you know, 
he see the grocery, you know, a grocery this much money, you could get cash out at the grocery counter. So it doesn't look like you went to an ATM. It's like, oh, I know she's going to the grocery store because they, you know, how to get them emails like, you know, uh, purchase from grocery store. He think you finna come home with some major groceries. And then you got your money. Girl, somebody asked you to grab a coffee. Hell no. Should I say I'm allergic to, or ghosting? Um, you know, I like to play with people. So, you know, I, normally I would ghost. It's like, I don't do coffee. But then you might seem bougie. If Does he have money? Does he have money? Does he have a nice car? Is, are, is he even worth grabbing coffee with? You know, does he have a luxury vehicle? Is it up? Is, you know, is it? Does he have a career? <laughs> does he just want to see what you look like in the daylight? Have y'all ever met before? You know, these are all those questions. Is he trying to get out of paying for a date? So this is what I would do. I would love to go for coffee with you, whatever your name is, whatever his name is. I would love to go to coffee with you. But I really, really um, don't want to break plans with my, like if he asked you for a specific day. Um, I really want, don't want to like break dinner plans with my, uh, my friend. Don't say girlfriend or boy say my friend, because it's at this really nice restaurant that I really don't want to go to for a while. And, you know, can I take a rain check? That means someone has trumped his coffee with a nice dinner and he needs to come correct. Um, easiest way to make extra money is to save from home. All bills are paid by my boo. Good girl. Yeah. Um, do online work. You know, there's mm, lots of ways to make money online. Lots of ways. Easy ways. You just got to click a few buttons. <laughs> Um, are all career men rich because they want career women only? I don't know what country you from. In America, they don't care. I think that's different countries. Like in some countries, they are so career and education driven that they place value on that as part of being a woman or a good catch. In America, that's just not the case. Okay. So unless they want some of your money because they don't have enough for themselves, you know? Um, I would never date a guy because if they asked me, what's your career? And if they were super interested in what I did for a living more than me, I, that's not for me. Okay. Because I'm finna quit as soon as, okay. At any given moment, I'm getting ready to quit. So it really won't matter anyway. <laughs> if you can tell them a good story about your career that you're getting ready to quit. Well, what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm a da 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 da. Really? Yes, but I'm getting ready to quit. Oh, okay, you're taking a break. Yeah, I'm taking a much needed break. Just you know, just wanna um explore life, go travel, do fun things. Now you're the best of both worlds. You're not dumb. You have a career, but you're getting ready to explore life. You're getting ready to be a 25 year old again. Oh, I'm going to go. I want to travel. I want to have fun, do spontaneous things. Just get up at the, you know, if a week, one weekend, get away and not have to worry about being back on time on Monday and stressing. I just want to have fun. He will tell you to quit tomorrow. Ooh, that sounds like a great idea. Go quit 
and let's go. Mm -hmm. Men should not be obsessed with a woman who has a job. Exactly. If he's depending on your job, that's a sign of broke boy, right? Mm -hmm. Since the since my phone is cracked, I think I'll keep it in my purse. Yes, and get a case too, because <laughs> this can make all the difference. Um, because if you take it out, if what if it rings and you have to take it out, and he sees the crack, or what if you know you have to take it out at some moment in time. You become a whole separate category of woman. And that is the honest to goodness truth. There are two types of women. Women with cracked phones and women with no cracks on their phone. Which one are you? Yes, people are judged like that. Cover that phone up. <laughs> um, Y'all know it's true. Y'all already know it's true. Don't be... Whenever you get your phone fixed, you start looking at that chick different because she got a cracked phone. You're like, oh, that's her phone crack. And your phone was just cracked last week. Now you now you part of the no crack. <laughs> crack is whack. <laughs> but when your phone is cracked and you see other women with cracked phones, you're just like, oh. you start feeling sorry for all y'all and plus yourself. Dang, she, she got a cracked phone too. And look, she cute. You trying to make excuses for it. Go get that phone fixed or hide it. Okay? Because <laughs> it's ratchet. And if you've had a cracked phone over a month, just leave it cracked because you, you just a ratchet. Cracked phone type chick. Just leave it cracked. Okay. <laughs> um... When your phone is cracked, you use it, but when it's not, you notice people's phone fast. Exactly. Get the thing fixed, too. Get somebody to fix it for you. It's not that expensive to fix it. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What do we talk about so far? Ratchet behavior, ratchet clothing, ratchet hair. Ratchet mentality, um, ratchet speech, okay, ratchet family members, we've, we've talked about that, um, ratchet jobs, how about that, we talked about kids, we don't, how, why we don't tell men we're going on date one, two, and three, that, uh, about any type of kids, we talked about ratchet friends. Okay. So let's talk about ratchet careers or jobs that you are embarrassed of. Lie. Okay. Or try to find something better. If you have to work, always be looking for a new job. Always. If you hate your job, if your job is ratchet, always be looking for a new job. Always. Don't even take a break. Every day you come home from your ratchet job, get right back online and try to find a, new, a better job. If you have to work, never stay at a ratchet job too long. If that's what you need to make ends meet, make it temporary. Don't get stuck in a ratchet job. A ratchet job. I'm, I'm not even going to give the, the names of these type of jobs because I might offend a lot of people. Tell us your plan in saving and how to get cash from a rich. I just told you, go to the grocery store with his credit card. I mean, with his card and get cash back. Go put it in your account before you get to the house. That's how you do it. Okay. Go to the grocery store, get his card, get cash back, stop to bank, put in deposit in your name only, go home. Okay. Very easy. If you're too scared to do that, then, uh, you're not married. You're a maid. Okay? Um, Stop giving him sex until he gives you money. That's how you save. Okay. I love you. 
Thank you. You're welcome. I love you too, girl. Shirley Hager. Okay. Um, should I do makeup I like or makeup he likes? He likes my freckles, natural makeup. I'm Mexican, but get confused for being white. Um, do what gate do what brought him to you. However, your makeup looked when you met him, that's how you keep doing it. Unless you can level up on it. Men always want you to do less when they're with you because they don't want other men looking at you. Keep your makeup just the way it is. If men turn heads when you walk by, you good. Okay, draw some fake freckles over your makeup. Get you a little pen, uh, eyeliner, and go dot, dot, dot. And that should be good enough. Okay? <laughs> Do not go backwards. There you go. Okay, the ratchet jobs. People are begging for the ratchet jobs. Fast food. If you are over the if you are out of high school or college and you work fast food, that is a ratchet job. Even if you're the manager, it's a ratchet job. Okay. This is why they want to do it because People going to get mad. Someone says Walmart. Unless you are the optometrist. At the Walmart. You have a ratchet job. Unless you are the general manager. That's still kind of ratchet to be with. At least you make it money. Um, <laughs> security officers. Um, like I said, always be looking for new jobs. Doesn't matter where you are now, where you want to be tomorrow. You know, everybody had a ratchet job at one point in their life, maybe, but they not there anymore. Somebody said police officer. God is key. Thank you so much for that nice donation. I appreciate it, girl. Thank you. Someone says gas station. Yes, gas station. Convenience store. Oh, just depends if the CVS or you know that's that's okay. CVS and Walgreens are okay. Like if you're young. Mm. Call center. Mm -hmm. Telemarketers. Big lots. Someone said the army. Kevin says the army. Hooters, dishwashers, dollar store, FedEx. You said you work for FedEx, Army, housekeeper at a hospital. Um, I don't know. Like it could be cell phone sales, food court. <laughs> Y'all naming them. I'm not. I'm just reading them. Can you wear braids as a teenager? Um, do you I think you should be focused on your schooling. Um, because it doesn't matter. A, a, a teenage boy will sleep with anything, anybody, any hairstyle. So you good. And so will normal men. And I, and you shouldn't be sleeping with boys anyway. All I'm saying is if you want to look leveled up. Look for the lifestyle that you want. Look like the lifestyle that you want. If you start in high school, it will be no problem when you get older. For me, I would start now. Yeah. The, the next time you get your hair done, take them out. Get something more bombshell, more feminine. Mm -hmm. And watch how stuff changes for you. So... Someone says Uber driver. Factory production workers. Um, receptionist barely make money. But that's a it don't matter. It's not a ratchet job because that's a perfect job for a man to fully take care of you, but still you look professional and respectable. CNA, I wouldn't tell nobody I was a CNA. Those aren't ratchet. 
but I'll still lie. Um, mm -hmm. Cause all they're going to try to do is, can you help me cheat on my taxes? Um, what if your ratchet job earns you more money than a classy job? I'm a cleaner at a private company. The pay is super high, but I get a receptionist job elsewhere. My salary would drop. Okay. Are you working harder as a receptionist than you are a cleaner, though? There's a difference why a cleaner makes more money than someone that sits on their butt and answers the phone. Okay? Because think about this. If you're a reception at a lawyer, attorney's um, partner office and you look cute and they invite you to lunch and they take you shopping or they give you a raise or your Christmas bonus is this or they, they give you tickets to this and, you know, they invite you to this and you're invited to uh, galas and parties and uh, fundraisers and you meet a millionaire that just finds you beautiful and you don't ever have to work ever again. Okay, so are you working harder or smarter? Now, if you have to struggle to pay your own bills and cleaning, uh, the cleaning job is the only way you can do it until you meet someone. How are you going to have time to meet someone if you're always working and, and cleaning? You know, so if I were you, if I were in that situation, this is how I get out. I would start dating men of means who could pay some bills so I could cut back my hours so I could actually go out and date more and, you know, find perhaps a different job, maybe like an um, executive assistant, which is one step up from a receptionist and they probably make money, you know. So men are narcissists and women play the part. Classy women. Yes, of course. You haven't figured that out by now? do that's true that's what you do play the part because playing the part will get you the prize briefly dated an rn who was a female medic in the army cool um so do you need to do do what you need to do until you can get a better one exactly but always be planning for a better one don't stay where you are because this is how people get stuck. This is how people get stuck. Oh, it's a good job. It has good benefits. I make good money. So and you don't have no time for yourself either. And when you're 50 years old, you still gonna have a good job with them good benefits working that same job. If you don't hurry up and try to get out to something better or in a better environment to meet people of means, men of means, provider men. Okay. I'm just being honest. You can't think like that. You said most service jobs are ratchet. School cafeteria lady. Ooh. That's like the, when you, when you, I don't mean to um, put down anyone's job or career. But I feel like most cafeteria women don't even want to be there. Y'all remember in high school and junior high, them cafeteria workers? So what do you do for a living? Ugh. I work for the school district. Oh, really? What do you do? Don't say bus driver, because that's a ratchet job, too. Don't say... uh. Don't say, uh, what you call it, school cafeteria worker. Don't say custodian. Don't say nothing. Just like, oh, I work in the office. <laughs> That's it. Um, How to start act, how to act when start dating a rich guy. Like, you have always dated rich guys like you expect the most like you know you know how to act 
in certain environments. Like I said, you have to change speech, dress, talk, walk to fit into their environment. Mm -hmm. Like there have been ratchet chicks that will see a man's nice car and walk by, oh, is this your car? Oh, this is nice. What you do for a living, okay? That is ratchet. Well, how come you don't have rims on it then if you got so much money? That's ratchet, okay? Someone says guilty. Ooh, if you were with me, I would just totally walk the opposite direction to pretend I was just walking next to you by accident. I would have walked the other direction. <sighs> and unless it's Michael Jackson, asking celebrities for autographs is a little bit ratchet. <laughs> Okay. Don't ask for autographs if you ever see someone famous. Please don't do that. It's ratchet. Just take a picture with your phone from far away like everybody else and that's it. You can, you can get, fake an autograph or buy one online if you want it that bad. It is ratchet. Don't tell me no different. Um, If you meet a celebrity... A, you should be looking good enough to date that celebrity if it's a man. So asking for an autograph would be silly because you could get that anytime because, you know, you could probably date him. Right? You don't ask celebrities for autographs unless they are way out of your league. Like I said, Michael Jackson, Beyonce, maybe. <laughs> okay. That's right. And I still wouldn't ask anybody for an autograph. I'm too cool. That's it. I'm too cool. I'm just too cool. Okay. R. Kelly want to be on you. <laughs> Shoot. I done peed on myself a couple times when I was younger and drunk. <laughs> As long as we in the shower, taking a shower, you know, sometimes that happens. You know, I don't care. Golden shower, whatever. But the whole thing, is, the whole thing is that R. Kelly thing, <laughs> all the women he pick are ratchets. Y'all see them women? They're all ratchet. He's peeing on ratchets. That's all I see. Um, because he, uh, like, he can't, he's not, he's, he won't date a serious woman. So obviously he likes ratchets. <laughs> you know, you don't see him like Steve Harvey and his wife, uh, Marjorie. Okay, Marjorie ain't having none of that. Okay. So if he likes, you say he likes underage, that's because they don't know any better. And what's next to kids that don't know any better? Ratchets. Exactly. So for me, I see it how it is. Dumb. And if they're not underage, then they're ratchet. Because that's what exactly what it means. They don't know any better. They'll take anything. You know. Um, oh, he got Versace on. That's good enough. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, he get my nails did. Great. So. <laughs> that he likes ratchet. What is, what if his breath is really, really bad? I can't deal, girl. Get you some Vicks vape, Vapor Rub. Put it right under your nose. Or put it, give him some chapstick mix with some Vicks Vapor Rub. So when he talks, the Vicks Vapor Rub is just all you smell. <laughs> That's what they use for, um, like when I used to work in the funeral home. When, uh. Decayed body came in and it smelled bad. People would just take that big vapor of them, smear over their lips so they don't have to smell it. <laughs> he 
he'll be like, why do you, you have a cold? Why do you have, why do you have Vicks Vapor Rub on you? Oh, I have a cold. I, I have a little sinus. Do you want some too? Oh yeah, I think I might have some too. I heard it's really good for your uh, skin and also really good for clearing your nasal passages. Would you like some? It'll, it'll also wake you up. You try to trick them. Get that stuff on him. Anyway. <laughs> Offer him some candy, gum. But you have to take some first, so it looks like you're not telling him his breath stinks. Get you an extra strong, extra mint on top of mint, double flavor. Um, shoot, Altoid need to come out with a gum. <laughs> Altoid, if Altoid came out with a gun, a gum, problem solved. Okay. I only use Dusty's to give me advice on men. Huh? Okay. But Dusty's don't think like men, so I don't know why uh, you would get advice from a Dusty. <laughs> Dusty's have this, the Dusty's don't have the same mentality as a man. A man. Okay? Because they don't. I wouldn't be messing with Dusty's period. <laughs> You're at the four seasons, hey girl. Girl, that's the that's what I think that's one of the most expensive hotels that you can go to. depending on where you live. But every time you go to travel, if you search like on your travel website, the Four Seasons, that's where all your money's going to be, baby. Mm -hmm. If you miss with Dusty, well, thank you, Karina Sanchez. You're so funny and beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching and thank you for that donation. <laughs> Um, Ritz Carlton, the Mandarin Oriental. Mm -hmm. It depends on what city you're in too. Cause like, um, there's different hotels. Usually the best one is going to yeah, be one of the Ritz Carlton or the Four Seasons. Mm, please talk about women who want to level up, but still want to entertain a dusty on the side that is ratchet. Um, I, like I said, leveling up also is a mentality. You are not leveled up if you're still dealing with dusties. Okay. So they're just pretending, you know, um, more, more and more women will realize that if that man can't benefit them or do anything for them, they're wasting their time. Okay. Um, time you can't get back. Men will stay young longer than a woman will stay young. Your Dusty will still look young at 40. Your Dusty will still look young at 50. But you won't. Okay? So, think about that for a second. Your Dusty can still make babies at 70 and 60 and 50 and 40. You can't. Okay. So just think about that one. Your Dusty can leave you at 49 years old and go start all over with a 25 year old and have more babies. Another family. And what are you? What you going to do? Your child is over 18 from your Dusty. Now you alone. And you never leveled up and you let yourself go and you can't even get a Dusty anymore. So leveling up is a mentality. If you mess with Dusties, that's what you are. Okay. <laughs> the only way is up. Exactly. 
So that's that's my thing. If you say I'm leveled up, I'm this, I'm, and you don't look leveled up, and you still messing with Dusty's, you just lying to yourself. You know, just lying to yourself. It might sound good. It might make you feel good for the moment, but you're just lying. Mm-hmm. Kids made by older men are at risk for autism. Google it. Maybe in some people, but not in all people. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gotta have them strong genes. Why would you even want one of them on the side? Exactly. Do I need to do my makeup to school to level up? I, shoot. I was wearing makeup since junior high school. <laughs> yes. I, I wore makeup all through high school. Liner, red lipstick, and everything. Um, don't want to look like a boy. Kids made by broke men are at risk for a lot of stuff too. <laughs> exactly. Um... Kids that take too much um, vaccines are at risk for autism. Come on, kid. Get it. Hey, girl. Mm -hmm. How do I ask someone for their phone number after we've made a connection? If you are a girl, you don't. If they did not offer you their phone number, they don't want you. You might have made a connection, but they didn't. Okay? So if they don't ask you for their phone number, they don't want it. I got my baby sister wearing makeup and she's beautiful without it. But hey, I want her to know what it feels like to be on the whole other level. Good for you. Now, I'm not saying women are ugly without makeup. Some of them, some of them are. But... Why be average when you can be above average with makeup? You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, you don't need it, but you don't need a lot of other things that you want. You know, you don't need a lot of things. You don't need a car. You don't need this. You don't need that. All you need is food, water, and shelter. Oh, shoot. Um, I'm live right now. I, I'm live right now. I got to go. <laughs> All right. Okay. Bye. So, um, you know, you, you just have to make a decision. I know a lot of women who entered into the level up group. Well, I think I look good with no makeup. Well, then you don't need to be in here. Go be average by yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> You don't need a level up group to look good with no makeup on. Go, go be average elsewhere. So, and I'm not trying to be evil. I'm trying to help women because, you know, we can lie to ourselves every day. People can lie to us as well. But when you see the results, that's not a lie. The results aren't a lie. Okay. Are you accepting more women to look, look group? Yes, it's a paid group, but look, look, look. I always have to do this disclaimer. There are two groups, pre-level up and level up. Some women will be um, offered the pre-level up. Some women will be, will be offered the level up. If you already have sugar daddies and you don't work and you, you know, you getting that money and you just want to be around other like-minded gold digging women... I have the gold digging group and sugar daddies means you don't work or you work because you want to, but don't have to. It means you haven't, uh, you know, you look the part and, you know, it doesn't mean someone gave you a pair of shoes and $400. That's not a sugar daddy. Okay. <laughs> I don't give prices on here because they always change. So you just have to write me, go to the about section, click on email address. And only serious inquiries only because I'm don't send me your life story. Like I said, it's to say I want to join the pre-level up group, the level up group. Send a picture so I don't have to ask. Uh, actually, find me on Facebook because the group is on Facebook. Mm -hmm. 
my Facebook is on there too. So just email me on Facebook, uh, message me on Facebook. I mean, you got to be on Facebook to be in the group. There you go. Do men like it when we act innocent and sweet or do they want someone whose sexiness is out there? It depends on what kind of man it is. It depends on how you look. It depends on a lot of stuff. You know, if you are, um, it just it depends on everything. Because if I say yes and you don't look the part to be sexy, then it's going to turn them off. You know, <laughs> you walking around with claws and, you know, uh, one one uh, one line brows, the answer is going to be no. If you're 50 pounds overweight, the answer is going to be no. So I got to see what you look like to give you a real answer. If you look decent, if you look good, I would say being. It depends on. What you think you can get from him. <laughs> I am always the mysterious type that works for me. Because I'm too tall. And too striking to be innocent. And I look like a villain. So that won't work for me. <laughs> okay. Hi, kitty. <laughs> Please let the ladies who want a conscious man the most are broke. Yeah. Look, you can be conscious by yourself. Besides, if, if y'all are both conscious, then who's how you going to trick him? <laughs> how you going to get what you want? If y'all both know certain things. You can't get what you want. You know. Thank you, Carla. Carla. She wrote how to look great at work wearing makeup and great manicure when it's hot and busy place. Bakery ra ratchet work. No, bakery is not a ratchet work. Girl. My baby her. Um, you could do this look. You can put your hair in a cute bun. I know y'all have to wear hair nets or something, but you could still rock this with a hair net on and still look cute. If you do that little down bun and the and the little hair net hairdo, that's ugly. <laughs> um, put on some nice lipstick, some lashes on. Get you a fitted bakery, uh, get you a fitted uh, apron. Okay, get you a push-up bra while you're working. Someone says no. <laughs> Shoot, I'm going to be a cute baker. What about makeup when you have skin issues? Go to the dermatologist and fix your skin issue. Okay. Um, because you can't have, you can't level up with skin issues. You got to go get that taken care of. You know, um, it takes one trip to the dermatologist. And if you have insurance, most of that covers it. I think I have a consultation today. I have to go soon. Um, work on your skin. I didn't. It didn't make sense. What I message you on Facebook? Okay. Look, I got a million people messaging me. I will check them. Don't be sad if you haven't heard from me in two to three days. It's I, I just have to go through them. But be patient. I'll, I'll usually get to them. Sure, I do all that where I work. My boss even said you can wear whatever you want because I know it's important to you. Good. Good for you. Um,
don't forget to add me to your Facebook group. Uh, it's a paid group, baby. If you've already paid, I'm, I'll check my stuff and see um, if I've added you yet. But I, I will. I'm check it. It'll be, if you've already paid, you'll be added today, probably. Okay. Um, level up includes makeup, though. Huh? Yeah. You gotta wear makeup. Did someone give me a um, donation? Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you. I'm working on my weight at the gym. I will keep trying to get into the level up group. Thank you. You can work at, you can get into the pre-level up group. That's not an issue. Shira, where are you posting your other channel? You've been helping me. Um. Oh, I don't know. Maybe later after I do this consultation. So I have to go, you guys. I do have somebody waiting on me to do a consultation with them. Um, Got to help somebody. Talk about the best, you know, best things to do for their situations. Mm hmm. I went to the dermatologist and got an Accutane. Got an Accutane? Oh, okay. Yeah. A lot of women in the group came in with bad skin or problem skin or adult acne or whatever. And they a few trips to the dermatologist, some prescription uh, face stuff. And now their skin is beautiful. You know, you got to make a decision. Okay. They'll even help you. Yeah, they'll even give you tips on what not to eat if you're trying to clear your skin. You can even look that up online. Uh, some people have bad reactions to dairy. Go for almond milk. You know, if you drink milk or ice cream, they have coconut milk, they have coconut ice cream. It's less calories anyway. You don't have to really be vegan, but if that's what... Uh, you need to do to clear your skin up. Go ahead. Because some people don't even drink water, y'all. Your skin may be trash. Not trash. Your skin may look like trash because skin is not trash. Because you don't drink water. You drink soda. You drink juice. You don't drink water. A lot of people just need to drink a bunch of water. You know, sometimes bad skin is a indication that you are not healthy in your kidneys and you can't uh, filter the toxins out of your body because you keep putting more toxins in. You know, I drink water all day, every day. This is either water or tea, non-sweetened. Mm-hmm. I drink like three of these a day or maybe more. I have a filtered water system in my house, so I'm good with that. I could sweeten my tea with stevia, but I'm so used to drinking water. If I drink tea, I just take I just taste like the herbal in it. And it also gives you antioxidants, which is you know helping with uh not aging. So I, I really don't need sweetener in my drinks. If I dis, if I drink coffee, yes, I do like um, a non-dairy creamer that already has the sweetener in it. But I don't really need it for tea. You know, buttermilk <laughs> is good for you on the face, like as a facial. Mm -hmm. If they're jealous, it's not your problem. Keep doing it. Yeah. Look, and when you're leveling up, whoever is jealous of you, either ask them if they would like to level up too, or keep their opinions to themselves unless they finna pay some bills. That's what I would say. I mean, I would be straight up. Oh, yeah, you know, I'm leveling up. Yeah, I'm trying to do better in 2019. Do you want to join me? You want to come to the gym? You want to watch some makeup tutorials together? You want to go to Sephora? Hey. No, girl, I can't do that. Okay, well, you know. Um, <clears throat> then let me do me. 
you know, I got to get this money in 2019. I got to get this millionaire. I got to get this husband. I got to get this boyfriend. So let me do me. Let me get what I need to get done. Okay. You go work on your New Year's resolutions. Perfect time to slay people right now is the New Year. Um. Oh, whatever. Da, 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 da. It's like, yeah. So by this time next year, I'm hoping to be lay out your goals. And if you accomplish them, they won't be able to say a thing. You know, well, I just don't think you need all that. I don't, you're right, I don't need it. But it makes me so much, makes me look so much better. You know, men love it. Oh, really? Well, they don't really love you. Well, I don't really love them. I just love the money that they spend on me. <laughs> That's how you do it. Keep slaying them. And then if you just get tired and sick and tired of it, just like, you know what, girl? You're right. I'll call you when I uh, when we Netflix and chill or something, when I want to stay in and eat um, chips on the couch with my stained sweatshirt for Netflix and chill. I'm going to call you then, okay? But you can't go out with me looking like that. <laughs> I have lit, like, I have literally had to tell someone when I was younger, because I was leveled up when I was young too, child. I can't go with you looking like that. <laughs> I can't go. We can't hang out no more. You ugly. You ratchet. You don't put any effort into how you look. Um, until you change, I will not be going in public with you. I had to tell uh, someone that a couple times. <laughs> Okay, can't be seen with you. That was evil, but that person is well groomed, very um, leveled up now, has a high position, and probably will thank me later. I mean, probably thanked me. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> can't you? Somebody got to tell you. Okay. Call yourself a friend. No, I called myself helping that person. You know, some people need help more than they need friends. Okay. <laughs> and if they were really your friend, they would listen. Because you're not trying to hate, you're just trying to help. Now, if I was told, if I told her, oh, girl, you look good. You don't have to do nothing to yourself. She would, she wouldn't be married today. She wouldn't be in the position she's in today. She wouldn't be, have the life she has today. Why? Because I told her the truth that nobody else would. That's a friend. Okay. That is a friend. If you're going to hang around somebody, allowing them to be their worst, you are not a friend. You are someone that hangs around them so that you can look better. <laughs> A friend will help you, not leave you the same while they grow. And if they don't want to be helped, then a friend won't force you, but they will tell you, I can't be around you until you help yourself. You know, They'll thank you later, believe me. Okay? A friend will not let you look bad. They won't. All right, your competition will, but not your friend. I'll see y'all later. Bye.